Okay, here at the Fox Chapel site of Autosport Company in Pennsylvania. Fox Chapel, Pennsylvania. And we're going to present a 1967 Ford Mustang to you today. It's a convertible. Uh, we don't care what the original configuration was, but at this point it is a red convertible with a top that goes down the tower and it's in excellent condition. Uh, it has a GT style hood on it that you can see here with the uh, indicator lights and turn signal lights in it. The bumper alignment is really, really nice on the car. The uh, front fascia is real nice. The grill area of the chrome is excellent on the front bumper. The front pan has no full marks in it and your turn signal uh, lenses are nice and clean and clear. The alignment of the hood, is, again, we're talking about 1967 here. This is not a new Porsche GT3. Uh, the alignment is a little tighter in the back than it is on the front on this side, and pretty much the same on this side. Now, uh, can it be repaired? Can it be fixed? Probably, but it's probably the way it was when it was from the factory. It's not precision at that point in time. Going down the uh, driver's side of the car, uh, the wheel lift moldings are nice. I don't see any marks or imperfections in them. By the way, this guy has a set of Kelsey Hayes style wheels on a Magnum 500 is what Ford called them. But uh, these guys are aluminum. They're 15 inch machine aluminum to look like the uh, steel Kelsey wheels that they used back in the day. Magnum 500s. Uh, Mustang designation on the uh, front fender. The uh, rocker panel holding on this guy is just as nice and straight and clean as can possibly be. There's no dents or uh, bars on it whatsoever, the correct style mirror for 1967 on the uh, door. Um, fender to door alignment is very, very nice on the front, and the same thing on the back. You can see everything lines up very linear the way it should be. Chrome of the door handle is really nice. Uh, window trim, a little bit of a patina piece there. Other than that, this thing's about as nice as you never hope to find. There's no marks or indentures in any of the trim around the window. The windshield on this side anyway is nice and clean and clear. Correct arms, incorrect modern style blades on it, but they work a lot better than the original ones that came on the car. Uh, let's see here. Um, going down the side, you know your vents are, are nice and uh, clean, uh, the way they uh, line up on the quarter panels. Nice sharp fender lips on it. Fender molding on this side, rear wheel uh, arch molding, nice and clean. The vertical top is in excellent condition. It looks like it, if it isn't new, it's almost as new. Nice clear back window on it, absolutely nice and clean and clear. Uh, going down the rest of the side of the car, when you look down the sides, uh, everything lines up as it should. The door lines up as it should. The, uh, see something here. A little bit out on the bottom on this side, but uh, again, certainly acceptable in that point of time. Uh, going down the uh, back part of the car, uh, the uh, alignment of the trunk is very, very nice on this guy. It's very nice. Gaps are very linear on each side. Mustang designation on the back. It's got uh, your taillight basils are all clean and clear of any there's no patina at all on them. Also the gas cap, the flip cut gas cap the same way. Bumper in the back, just as straight and nice and uh, flawless chrome on it. A little bit of a mismatch on the uh, trim piece on the uh, um, quarter panel with extension in the trunk. I'm gonna open the trunk, show you what's inside on this guy. Okay, spare tire carrier. Um, you're going to see high resolution photos of this, but I just want you to see how nice and clean and original the trunk is on this guy. It's uh, got the original boot well, you can see it. It has a little bit of age concern with it, but it is the original boot well. This obviously isn't the original trunk mat, but it is a carpeted one and very nice. And everything in the trunk looks nice and solid and clean, jacking instructions. Uh, it's got a nice car. Going down the uh, passenger side, it's pretty much the same as the driver's side. Everything lines up as it should in the uh, gap department. You can see the gap on the uh, door to the uh, quarter panel. 
And again, you've got the Kelsey wheels on it. These are machined aluminum. They look like they're so close to the original chrome, the magnified hundreds, but they're not. These are machined aluminum ones. A little bit classier. Um, side car will show you a little bit better on the, on the uh, driver's side, but it is a uh, five-speed Tremec as opposed to a three-speed or a four-speed that came with this guy. So you have an overdrive gear there that uh, uh, you can get out and cruise on the uh, highway just as long as you want. It is a five-speed Tremec transmission. The interior is about flawless in this vehicle. The door sill moldings, um, nice and clean and fresh, just like new. The um, door panel's the same way. There's no deviation on any of it. There's no sagging on any of the vinyl uh, enclosures on it. Door opens and closes, obviously, as it should. Trim around here, same as on the other side. Believe it or not, there's no, uh, no, there's no patina in the chrome. However, I'm just looking at it right now. Ding, 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 ding. Looks like I don't know what happened, but there are some very, very light dings in this piece of stainless trim on this side of the windshield. Windshield uh, has a slight mark here from a wiper that at some point of its life, uh, you probably won't see it in the uh, video or in the still pictures, but I'm telling you it's there. Can it be polished out? Probably, but you won't notice it when you're driving the car anyway, so I don't think there's an issue with it. Um, that brings us back up to the front of the car. And again, you know, everything in this car lines up as it should. Your um, little bit of a indenture right here on the uh, rocker panel molding. But other than that, the paint and finish to fit everything on this car is very, very nice. Excellent condition vehicle. Let's see what we've got under here. Okay. Jeez. Uh, we got a, at least a, well, it's a four pass aluminum radiator in the front. It has a huge, huge uh, electric fan on it, dual horns. It has a serpentine belt system on it as opposed to your regular V belts. And they have billet aluminum wheels on all of them. Alternator, uh, water pump, which is aluminum by the way, um, billet aluminum on the uh, crankshaft and on the uh, power steering unit. It does have power disc brakes in the front. It has a, it's a vacuum dual line Holly. I'm gonna call it a 600, but I'm sure it's somewhere in that vicinity. An MSD ignition, built aluminum uh, distributor in it. Um, front fender brace, as you can see, that's uh, been added. The um, engine department is very, very clean. Everything is nice and fresh. <coughs> Numbers are still present over here, showing that it originated as a C-code car which would have been a 289 two-barrel car. Uh, everything in this engine compartment is as it should be. As a matter of fact, there's the original battery tag yet. It's kind of sprayed over a little bit and a little bit wrinkled, but that is the original battery tag. And this appears to be the original red color on the car. We didn't check the tag, but it appears to be from all the uh, places that haven't been painted on it. It's a nice straight car. Have, oh, look at this. It has a set of aluminum heads on it. So somebody's done some work on this motor. It has a set of shorty um, headers on it. I don't know manufactured or probably either hookers or dugs or somebody's, but they're a set of shorty headers and um, aluminum cylinder heads on this guy. Edelbrock aluminum intake manifold. And again, a dual line, uh, probably 600 Holley uh, vacuum operated secondary uh, carburetor on it. So this guy's making some serious horsepower plus you have it coupled to a, a five-speed Tremec transmission, which is going to give you a lot of, well, it's going to have a lower first gear, and it's going to have a tall high gear, fifth gear. So this guy will have all the low end you want for turning some tires, and you'll still be able to drive it out on the highway and take it to cruises or wherever else you want to take it. It's a great looking car. Paints very nice on it. The fit, finish, everything is very nice on it. You know what? This needs to be addressed. I don't know why this is like this, but this, this bolt is loose that holds the uh, grill area onto this piece of trim on the outside. So that's something that we're going to have to tighten for you, but I didn't notice that. I'm not trying to hide everything. We're trying to show you everything that we possibly can on this car so that there's no surprises whenever you take delivery of it. And again, you know, all the cars that Anthony has down here 
our uh, state inspected for Pennsylvania, which means that the brakes, the exhaust, the tires, the uh, everything on the car is fresh and uh, roadworthy. So you, you, no surprises in that area. So if, if you need any further information on this vehicle, just call Autosport, get a hold of Anthony. He can uh, take any uh, additional photos that you want or an additional video of a specific area that you have a concern about. And we're gonna see if this talk goes up and down, so we're gonna show you that. There you go. You're ready for a lot of open air fun in the Mustang. 1967, great car. I'm just noticing also, it, it, you're gonna see them in uh, his still photos, but it has a set of custom white face gauges in it. <clears throat> it is the original steering wheel. There are no cracks in this plastic steering wheel, however. Uh, just a great interior. Um, again, you'll be able to see it in all the high resolution uh, uh, videos that uh, uh, Anthony has on it and still pictures. Uh, also, just want to bring to your attention that uh, between the uh, Indiana store and the Fox Chapel location, uh, I just checked this morning and there are 125 cars in inventory. So if you see something in the background that you have an interest in, call. Uh, if it's not in the background, call anyway because it's quite possible that we have the car, it just hasn't been gotten ready yet. For sale but it's going to be and uh, chances are we have it. there's 125 of them almost all the time between the two locations.